Hi, this is Betsy from Cut and Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas. Today is more of a video of getting to know me a little bit better. Um, so we're going to go over a little bit of my life story. I'm not going to get into too specific of details, um, but we're going to talk about some hard stuff. So, but this is also to show you that whatever you put your mind to, you can do. So. I'm 33 years old, be 34 in July, um, and I've been married for, it'll be 15 years in September, so I've been with my husband about half of my life at this point, and I love him dearly. Um, growing up, my childhood was not the best. Um, there were a lot of factors, very abusive family. Um, I don't speak to most of the people that I'm blood related to. Um, almost every single person in my family has been in and out of jail, in and off, uh, on and off of drugs. Um, so I strive to be everything that they aren't or weren't, because a lot of them are passed away now, um, which I don't really get too emotional about. Um, I've kind of blocked a lot of feelings away from that um, and because of those things I have a lot of trust issues I don't get close to a lot of people I have no issue telling people about the things that I've been through but on the same hand I keep most people at an arm's length because I don't like to get too close um, as you know my husband Jeremy and I've been together for a very very long time his parents are like my parents they were the ones to show me how to be a good parent um, because those were things that I had never really been around before. So whenever they were concerned, whenever we first got together, it just drove me nuts because I didn't want anybody telling me what to do or how to do things. I had been taking care of myself for a long time on my own. I moved out at 17. Um, as soon as I could leave, legally leave in the state of Texas, I moved out where they couldn't come get me um, because all I was to them was a check because my adopted dad um, got Social Security, so they got Social Security for me. Um, so with me and my husband, whenever we got together, um, with Nadia, it was one of those kinds of things. He had a child. I knew that if I were going to step in that relationship, that it was going to be for the long haul because I didn't want her to grow up the way that I did with people coming in and out of her life. So, even through all the bad stuff, which there's been bad, there's been good. I mean, we grew up together. When you start dating someone and you start your life so young, you grow, you change. Um, but I can't imagine my life with anybody else. He is the most amazing and kind and loving man and deals very well with my controlling issues. I have a lot of control where I don't like things not to go a certain way. So that's kind of how it is. And he also deals with my neurotic behavior and how much I am involved in everything with the kids. I've been involved in PTA, I've been soccer mom, homeroom mom, been there for every recital, every soccer game, every PTA meeting, every class party, as much as I possibly could. There are very few things that I have missed over the years. Um, and, you know, Nadia's 16, Caden's 14, and Cameron just turned 10. So that should tell you something. And I also have a great support system in my husband's parents. Joe and Mary are absolutely amazing. They, at this point, since we started this new business and I can't leave very often, they go pick up the kids from school. On Fridays, they'll go have lunch with Cameron. So I'm very lucky in that aspect. But on the same hand, I still keep most people at arm's length. But 
because of the things I've been through, I've been very goal oriented and very, I'm very type A personality. Like things have to go a certain way and I'm very controlling in that matter. Um, but I want my kids to have security, know that their parents are always there and are always gonna be together. Now, I mean, there are certain aspects of that I can't control, but as much as I can, I try to. Um, but, you know, they're only little once, and if I can protect them from the world that's outside, I will. Um, so that's kind of where we are on that. Um, but because of that, I want to be able to give them the things that I never had. Um, it, but it's not just material things. I want them not to have to worry where they're going to live day to day, whether there's going to be electricity, whether there's food in the refrigerator. So being my own boss is on me on how hard I work to make sure we have the money to do all those things with the kids. Um, and I'm blessed beyond belief because this both of my businesses have been successful. I've been doing this a long time and we work very hard at it. I mean, I put in a lot of hours here, a lot more than I like sometimes because I am missing more on the kids. But, you know, Cameron comes up here and that makes it a little bit better. and we still do whatever we can to be there as much as possible but it takes a lot to own a business you have to be willing to put everything into it or you won't get everything out of it um, but just because you came from bad doesn't mean it will always be bad you have to make that conscious decision to not be a repeat to not stay in that mindset of, oh, my life sucks, so I'm going to do this because there's no point because it's not gonna get any better. We always strove for more. And I mean, Jeremy had a very great childhood. His parents have always been together his entire life. He has a great younger sister and her baby is right now one of the lights of my life. He is just perfect. Um, so we're close with my husband's brother and sister. We're close with my in-laws, but that's about, and my kids, that's about where I keep my circle for the most part. I mean, there are certain other people that I love and care about, but that's my group. That's my core group. That's who I talk to. If I have an issue, I call my mother-in-law. Me and my husband talk about everything, um, the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, so, I mean... It's good though. Um, I don't want it to sound like it's not. It's just I came from such a bad place. It's odd to me for things to be good. I always feel like I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop, um, but so far it hasn't. Um, but again, as I said, whatever you want to accomplish, you can accomplish. You know, as a kid, I just wanted. A great family you know I wanted security and I have those things you know my business could go under tomorrow and I would still be happy because I would still have my husband I would still have my kids I would still have my in-laws so those are the things that are truly important and I'm sorry if this kind of rambled on a little bit you know I'm just trying to make people understand a little bit more of who I am because I've had a lot of questions on who I am because I seem so young and but I'm determined so that's kind of why and where I'm at with that so thank y'all for watching if you want to click subscribe we still are doing the scrap box on May the 4th any orders online or customers that come in store get extra entries into the scrap box drawing as well as if you are subscribed on YouTube you get an extra entry and if you go and like and share our Facebook page, that's another entry as well. So thanks and y'all have a great day.